right, welcome everyone. Yes, that's right. I don't know what I am, but I know it's Halloween. Welcome everyone. I'm a native god that uh, will show you character animator, but really it's just me. And that got a little hot. So let's get this party started. Good to have you here, Samuel, and everyone else as they join us. Uh, my name is Paul Tranny. Yes, that's right. I'm going to be masked and dressed up. So follow me on Twitter at Paul Tranny. You can see right below there. And uh, yeah, you'll see my costume later on tonight. But I am doing character animator and I actually needed to, I couldn't, I didn't want to paint my face because it will, might mess with the camera. Uh, but that's the idea. So we're going to dive into this. Hopefully everyone can see me okay and all that good stuff. So uh, I'm going to move forward right now. So let's get this party started. So, all right. Just checking everything out, making sure everything's up and running. Um, and yes, I just want to welcome you. Uh, I think I saw Samuel here um, and others. I'll be keeping track of chat. All right, Juan Pablo, Samuel. Uh, good to have you here. Uh, yeah, you like you like this? You like how I look? So essentially, I got so many looks. I have so many looks that I'm going to be working with. But again, it's not about me. It's about you. Uh, good to have you here. So we're going to get into this. Uh, my name is Paul Tranny, and we'll be using Illustrator and Character Animator. Uh, in fact, I'm going to switch right over and dive into this, starting out with this lovely uh, blog post that I can actually paste in the chat. So uh, basically, we have a special scary treat for you, as it says right there. And uh, basically what this means is uh, we're giving you some files just for fun, just to play with. Okay, and uh, I'm going to show you, <clears throat> excuse me, everything that it can do. In fact... Give me one second, I will show you that magic, okay? And check out that blog right there that you can see on my site, see, see right here. Um, I will post it in chat right now. Give me one second, but these are the files that you wanna link to. So here you go. Pasting that in, there you go. There's a link to what I'm gonna reference. And uh, I actually want to run a video for you and pray to God the audio works out okay as well. But this is the character we're gonna be making. So let's try this out. <laughs> What's, What's this? this? Adobe, Adobe mail me? me? Yes. yes. Uh, I love, I love Illustrator. Illustrator. I'm going, I'm to, going download to download that, that file, file and launch, launch character, character animator, animator right, right now. now. <laughs> Looks, Looks so, so cool. cool. So I go so to, I go to file, file, import, import pick my file. my file. And then, and then scene, scene, add to add new, new scene. scene. Oh, oh, this, this is, great. is great. All right, so that was Thorn. He's the character that you can get a hold of right now. You can see him right in here on this blog. Scroll down, uh, download the files here, open in Character Animator. I'm gonna take it a step back a little bit and show you how you can really just start in, in Illustrator itself with some files. So it's so easy to work with and it's really powerful. So you have that link now. Now we can kind of get started. Uh, Tim, not much, man. Good to see you here. Uh, but basically you have access to these files right now. So uh, what I can do is I can download and load those files into Character Animator. If you're new to Character Animator, I'm excited to introduce it to you. Uh, notice you have a bunch of templates that you can actually start with, which are great. So you could try any one of those, uh, or you could actually just start with the download that is on that blog site. So right here, here's the Thorn Puppet, right? Just double click on that, and then you can see it here in Character Animator, okay? Uh, just real fast, just so you know, uh, with Character Animator, 
and you'll see Thorn right here. You don't ever have to save your files. They're always in here. That's why I didn't need to worry about opening and saving. It automatically saves. But let's check out Thorn. I'll double click on him and here's the file. Let's not worry too much about rigging right now. Let's just go into record and you can see that we have this scene with Thorn where I've accidentally clicked out off to the side. Let's bring his arm back in. But this is really cool. So as you can see, it's getting my face. And uh, in fact, I want to set a rest pose. And you can see my face right over here. So it'll be just tracking my mouth movements, right? Uh, compared to this character. Uh, some other capabilities are going on right here. So essentially I can use his arms and grab his arms and, and adjust accordingly. Uh, this is nice because I could do a recording and I can say, hey, you know what? Happy Halloween from Thorn. Yes, I have an itchy belly, but otherwise uh, it's going to be full of candy tonight. I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. Right. And that's the recording I've done. We can see it right down here. We can see the different handles uh, as well. So that's what character animator. Uh, oh, uh, Matthias, maybe I can make a character based on me. Oh, funny you say that. I kind of do. And I'm actually I'm this is like normal Paul. Hey, everybody, this is normal, Paul, right? But the cool thing is, is this file, this Paul file right here, and Thorn are both Illustrator files that we can play with, right? So let's just take this file, right-click, reveal in Finder, right? Oh, look, here it is. Here's this Thorn file right here. Let's just check this, boop. And uh, this Illustrator file I can open up, of course, in Illustrator. This is the important part right over here. This is how this content's laid out, right? It's all pretty simple. But as I take a look, I can turn off that background just so it's not confusing, and I can turn off the foreground. But the big thing is this troll right here, okay? So we can see this troll has a head, sure enough, right here. It has a body, okay, and a shadow. But the big thing is the head, right? So let's focus on this head right in here. Zoop. Zip in there, twirl this down, and we can start to see how this content is laid out. Let's expand this out, and you guessed it, left eyebrow, right eyebrow, hair, nose, mouth. Okay, let's take a look at this mouth, because as I twirl that down, you can see all of these uh, different uh, mouths available. Let's just kind of zoom in on that, right? And again, this is the E, D, ah, uh, surprised, smile, you get the idea. <laughs> So I can take this content and I can modify it. Let's actually just turn on all those mouths. Uh, you know what? No, let's turn off all of these. So I don't want to mess with the mouth, but the big thing is, is this is an illustrator. So I can take this character right now, select everything and edit it all I want. And I can tweak out some of these points easy enough, right? I can make his head a little bigger like that. Uh, but what I'm going to do just to show a massive change is go into edit, edit colors and recolor artwork. Uh, what am I for Halloween? I'm basically going to be a zombie, but I, I'm like a... I'm basically a zombie uh, uh, that was like dressed up for the evening that like I'm like the concierge at a hotel, but I'm now a zombie. <laughs> so I'm working on it. That's that's kind of what's happened, Chris. Uh, so in general, we'll, we'll see. I'll have my full makeup on later and everything, too, but I actually need to borrow it from my neighbors because I don't have makeup. OK, but let's just adjust this. And we can make this a scary like, ooh, that looks scary when this zombie is red. Wow, that looks really scary, actually. <laughs> right, but I can make I can make some of these adjustments. Oh, this is going to be so scary. If he's red, he's going to be too scary for me, I think, because I'm a wimp, I guess. All right, I've made that change. I could make sure I have the mouth turned on. I usually reset everything back, so it's going to be kind of like that. Right, saving this file, Thorn AI. And with that done, going back into Character Animator, going to that scene with Thorn, as the character is known. 
and here he is. Still talking, still red. What happened? Hey, guess what? I don't have those other layers turned on, and that's what I mentioned about turning on and off layers. In fact, let's go Command-0, select all, edit, edit colors, recolor all this artwork. Why not? In fact, lock this down. Boom. Adjust it into the reds, right? Something like that. Looks pretty good. Clicking OK. Save. Saving the file and closing it. So let me know if you have questions about Character Animator. I can start to pick apart these individual... Uh, yeah, I'm basically going to be a classy zombie, I think. All right. So, with that done, loading that in. Wait for it, wait for it. And now we have our zombie, right? Great character animation that I can then record, okay? Uh, uh, Juan Pablo, how, how does he know uh, whether this whether they use the, si the, the a smile or a sad mouth or a grimacing? It's all based on the layer names, and that's a great question. So right in here, if I take a look at the mouth, it's the layer names and the structure. Quite frankly, ha uh, hair, nose, mouth, it knows to look for smile right and surprised when it says hey okay i know what audio sound is associated with ah therefore turn on the ah layer and that's how that works right i know the d audio cue duh duh it will give me that d right there so that's how it works and that's how that's done so let's uh jump over let's make paul zombie really fast Again, right click on any graphic, like any one of these characters, reveal in Finder, right? I'll sometimes make a duplicate, by the way. I'll back that up, but then I'll open up this blank face, which is actually already open in the background, but showing you how to get to that file. And then I can take me as a character, and now I'm going to zombify myself. So I'm going to go into recolor artwork, go into edit, and then adjust accordingly into these like zombie type colors like that. Wait for it. And there's roughly, roughly zombie Paul. All right. Let's grab some more splats and stuff, right, for my face. And notice how it's set up the same way. All the layers are squared away. But it's really this face background right in here. This is where I want to start adding some more things to it, okay? So right in here, we'll add some blood splatter and different things. Uh, for that, I'm going to go down to symbol libraries. I'm going to go into a grime vector pack. This is baked in. Opening this up, and this might be a good start. Right, so grabbing this, let's drop this in here, right? And this could be just some gross blood. I don't know, zombies don't really have blood though, do they? <laughs> zombies don't really have blood. Break link to symbol, throw a little color in there. You get the idea, right? So <clears throat> since this blood <clears throat> is kind of coming down, I want it to kind of follow the curve of the eye. So what I'm going to do there is right over here, I'm going to use the Puppet Warp tool. Hopefully, I don't know if you're familiar with it, but I'm going to select Puppet Warp. Give it a second. It automatically adds these pins. I can add some more pins right in here, just two more, and make it kind of bend so it's going kind of around my eye. And it's just going to be a little bit more realistic. Uh, in a sense, I think, right? As it goes kind of around my eye, kind of like that. It's dripping down, maybe gets caught on. There we go, perfect, right? Something like that. It didn't add any vectors when it did that, right? Super easy to work with. Uh, what other grimy stuff? Oh, we got some good stuff in here. I'm super excited about this. Uh, some of these cracks right in here. Let's just drop that in. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, this is really how I look off camera. It is so true. 
I'm like, I gotta get up in the morning. What is this? I wanna mask some of this out. Probably know how to do this, but make a clipping mask. I need to turn off some of these settings, but do something like that. And let's see if I can duplicate that. Maybe duplicate it again. And I'm gonna reset this panel. This is a new feature in Illustrator. I don't know if you know about this, Anwar. What's up, good to have you here, is you can customize your toolbar. So that's what I did earlier. That's what it looks like. I can reset it back to the original. Uh, and just so you know, this is what I typically wanna do. I'd wanna remove this one, Anwar, the perspective grid tool. Don't you hate it when you accidentally turn that on? I hate that, I drag that out. Let's get rid of it. Let's get rid of a lot of this 3D stuff right is what I can do there okay now you get the idea everything's kind of back to normal clicking that and sure enough this is why I removed perspective grid because as soon as you click on it it turns on the grid so you need to hide it so annoying all right let's make some clipping masks in here I feel like this needs to be a different color let's break link to the symbol I don't know, what do you think? Same thing needs to happen here. I kind of want this to wrap around my face, right? So object, let's go to distort. Let's uh, make with mesh. Okay, let's just, I like smaller numbers better. Let's do three and th one, two, three, maybe four here. I'm dividing that up into fourths, right? I wanna make sure that covers the nose, click okay. That should do it. Direct selection tool. Move that up. Move this over. Make sure it's wrapping around my nose like that. Right? That's what I'm doing. Zoop. Have it kind of wrap around. Hopefully that makes sense. I like using uh, Puppet Warp, but uh, really it's up to you on uh, kind of what you're working with. What are you working with? How's everyone doing, by the way? Who's... uh? Who's doing something fun for uh, Halloween, huh? Who's doing something fun? Tell me. What's up? Okay, so uh, using make with warp, warping this into place, you get the idea. Don't worry about some of this. Bring that down, you get the idea. Been using just the Grime Vector Pack. It's baked into Illustrator. I can also maybe grab some stuff from, uh, here we go, from stock, but honestly, this is gonna work out fine, right? But you might think it's weird, that's okay too. All right, I'm trying to make it look like I'm dead. This, is, this needs to be my plan for my makeup tonight, right? That's the goal. Move that in. Bring that in like that. You get the idea, okay? Cool, made some changes. Could probably change this some more. I think I'm going to. This is where you start to really tweak things for a very long time, it seems, right? But I want this to be kind of gruesome. I'm gonna adjust the uh, the stacking order here in a second as well. There we have it. Double click, what do I have to do? I have to sample this color. And put it right in here. Yeah, taking requests, a pumpkin with the smile of the Scream movie. Yeah, sure. 
So keep in mind this is on top. I'm gonna actually put this behind. So this is gonna go in the face background. So I need to kind of move that down after I change the color of this one. You know what, I might even take it out of here. Maybe. I do have that masked. So some of this needs some work. Let's adjust the stacking order. Give me a second. Let's move this down. Actually, both of these things. There we go. Move that clip group right in there. Grab this. Other shape as well. Give me a second. Wait for it. Ah, there it is. All right, let's get rid of some of these layers. Just like that. Sorry for ignoring chat. Ah, how's everyone doing today? Hopefully everybody's gonna go, I don't know, trick-or-treating. Still working on this. This still needs some more work. I need to adjust the color, that's for sure. Right, and I need to add this to the neck as well. So let's do that right now. Go in here to the head. Oh yeah, he looks great without eyes actually too. Where's that neck? It's with the body right down here. So deep. Paste. Bring it down. Make my adjustments just like you saw a second ago as well. Just making zombie Paul. Tell me what's going on. Uh, Tim, what are you doing for, I guess, I don't know, do you guys, I don't know if people celebrate, and this may sound dumb, but I don't know if everybody, if people celebrate um, Halloween in Europe, or if it's that big of a deal. Would love to hear. Let's take this down to two. Previewing those divides. Well, maybe up one. Okay, cool. Tell me if you're celebrating Halloween tonight or if you're even just passing out candy. That's really all I'm doing is I'm going to my neighbors and I'm passing out candy. And I'm gonna scare the kids, just kidding. <sighs> All right, is that working better? Uh, I need highlights on the face. I need to fix some of this still, I get it. Right, like this part right here on the nose, this needs to be fixed. It wouldn't really go like that, we know that. So it's kind of not, I don't know if it's fully working right in there, but I can change that. Uh, I should be able to expand appearance. Maybe I don't want to do that just yet. Because it kind of still needs work. All right. 
right. What do you think? Is it working? Is it not working? Totally open to your thoughts. <laughs> yeah, I am going to be eating candy. Okay, so I'm just going to expand appearance here for that, just so I can edit these individual shapes. All right, like right in here. Why? Come in here, and let's just remove. I get it. Take some time. But again, that's at the point I'm at right now. It's just tightening all of this up. Getting rid of these individual little points that ruins the illusion of this appearing on the nose. All right, Command Y. Sure, why not? Ah, another tool, another ancient tool that you may or may not be using. And now I gotta find it because it's probably buried somewhere. The warp tool. Come in here and I can warp this. Did that work? Uh, I should be locking down everything else. But basically I need to warp those shapes. Let's try one more time. So yeah. All right, cool. Well, I say that looks good. I need to adjust, of course, the colors as well. I like, I think I look better without, with really freaky eyes. So let's give myself some red eyes. Let's do that. Okay, we have the left eye, the right eye. Remember, this came from Character Animator. I need to change this. This is the last thing I'm gonna do. Maybe, and then I'll probably tweak this to death and miss, miss all the parties. All right, but right in here, let's take this. Nice gradient. This is either using the new gradient tool or gradient updates in Illustrator. Because here's my gradient. So I want to change this to a nice red, maybe a dark red. And this can be a nice brighter red. Something like that. Is that good? Cool? Let's do it. Swing that back over, select this one, hit I for eyedropper, click, changed the other one. Hopefully that looks freaky because that's what we're going for. But still, notice how even, even when I'm dead, my hair looks good. Look at that hair. Just kidding. I need more cracks in things. So many more cracks and bleeds and stuff like that. Uh, I will work on it though. Either way, I'm gonna show you just all I need to do is save this file. Everything is squared away right over here. Left eye, left blink, right? And then all this stuff just gets included, right? Uh, you do need the plus is an important thing because that's basically saying, hey, you know what? In addition to that, it is the left pupil. Let's go back over to my desktop. Let's grab a better background. Ooh, good one. Uh, turn the head upside down. <laughs> um, so I like that, Kevin. You're like basically you can you you could go into isolation mode by hitting Q, and you can draw a selection around all the points you don't want, and then delete. So that's good. Going into isolation mode, uh, or another thing like. Yeah, that's good. That's a good idea. I like how you think. I was just hitting Y to view the outline mode so I can select certain parts. Going back over there. Okay, looks good. Copying this. Let's bring this over here into Halloween. 
pasting that. All right, so, ah, so look, look, ah, uh, that didn't get colored, right? So I obviously need to fix that for sure. Uh, but I also need to grab a background. I will fix that, give me a second. Go to my desktop. Just so you know, these files are available. The Thorn ones are available through a link that I actually posted at the beginning of this stream. I'm gonna bring in this background. There we go. Yeah, so I need to do all of the faces. Now, why is my face not moving right now? <clears throat> Well, it's because I have this layer selected. It brings this layer in, it thinks it's another puppet. Just select the layer that you want. And notice how it still has issues. Sure, we'll go into Illustrator. And the problem is, is I didn't select everything and show everything uh, when I was actually colorizing it. So if I go into Mouths, if I turn all these on, you'll see how bad they are, right? How, 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 much, how much work I need to do. Turn on all these. Here's all the crazy mouse. Uh, I accidentally did the first one, but let's take all of these. Unlock this other stuff. And including the eyes. You get the idea. And edit colors. All right. Hmm. This is interesting. I basically have the issue where I need to match, do these changes. I thought just selecting these would allow me to just recolor just. Okay, so look at all these colors. This is what's happening. Let's do this. I could pare this down. I could say, you know, give me, let me just pare this down to five colors. Hmm. That's not quite gonna work. Go back to all. So I need to kind of remap these tints to these other uh, bluish tints. So let's give this 10 colors. All right, gives me 10 colors. I can take all these tones right here and I can start to drop them into the blue. Let's just grab this one and do this. So I'm just going to do some consolidating. That's what this means. You'll see it start changing here in a second. There we go. Uh, I don't like how bright this is, so I can go into edit, take this tone, I should be able to shift it, make it darker, like that, as you can see. Works for me, done and done. I'm gonna let you go. Uh, Cartoon lips look a little bit too sweet to be a zombie. Oh, you are so true. That's true. I, I compressed it down so much. And look, this first one. Ah! That's the key. I'm going to undo this. I figured it out. Just, you don't need to lock down everything. Just turn everything else off. I'm going to turn off everything. Except for the parts that I need to recolor. It's going to get a little tricky because I actually can't see those other colors to map it to but we'll go into recolor artwork and we will do edit, lock it, rotate it, and get it into this greenish blue territory. Click okay. 
So now I've just recolored the artwork that was showing. Ah, the eyes. Don't tell me I need to recolor that stuff too. Ah, good Lord. Let's undo that again. This is turning out to be a little more tricky than expected. Such is life, isn't it? Right? Let's just recolor all the artwork and go through this process. But you get the idea. I will work on this some more. I will post it to Instagram, uh, a little version of me talking. And again, since I haven't saved this yet, I can go back into Character Animator. And I can see this earlier version, even though I need to fix my jaw, I will take care of that and I'll make myself look even more scary. And not only that, you have Thorn in here as well. And all I did is recolor Thorn. And keep in mind, he has controls, by the way. What are these controls all about? It has to do with the rigging. So if I go into rig, you'll be able to see these different rigging properties for this character. Okay, so right in here, I will uh, kind of check out the head we have the body over here we can see the right arm left arm and we can start to see some of these points right in here this is set to draggable can you see that set to draggable right how was that done right down here it says this is a handle to make it draggable right there right so that's going to work out just fine uh, these points give you constrictions so it's saying, hey, you know what? I'm not gonna move too far one way or the other. But that's what these are right down here. You'll see it, it's this stick tool. Uh, so it kind of specifies where the character shouldn't bend, which works out great. And that's why you get all this great movement right in here, as you can see. All right, Alexander and Kevin and everyone, thank you so much for joining me at Thord. And everyone, thank you so much. Uh, I encourage you to check out Character Animator. And not only that, there's versions with Photoshop files as well. So jumping in here, this happens to be a PSD. Uh, PSD. And maybe a couple others. So this is, oh yeah, Photoshop and Illustrator. And that's a cool one as well. All right, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to continue to work on this. So follow me on Twitter at Paul Tranny, as you can see below, or even P-T-R-A-N-I on Instagram. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do a, a recording and post that uh, of my character right here as soon as it's squared away. So that's something you have to look forward to uh, if you want as I finish up Zombie Paul. All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you. Appreciate uh, you just hanging out with me. And uh, uh, yeah, the chainsaw's next. I'll work on that. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a happy Halloween. Bye.